I'm going to tie a version of a Kate McLaren. This is a, one with a West of Ireland Golden Olive muddler head to it. So we're using a B175 here, this is a size 10. And the butt or tag of this display uh, is silver tinsel, silver flat tinsel we're going to use. So if we take one of these medium or else a fine, this is Dan Bolt was double sided. So we want to wrap the silver side. So you start with the gold side out to yourself. So that when you start to wrap then the silver side is the side that is up. And wrap it longer than it needs to be because you can go back over it. Now, the tail of the fly is golden pheasant topping or crest. Take one of those. I'm going to tie it in way longer than it needs to be. And then pull it forward until I get it to be the length that I want. And tie back over this. And then wet it and stroke it back. The bit we don't need. So the rib on the fly is gold, sorry, silver oval. So tie that in and take it back to the point where our tail was tied in. And then we want to use a black dubbing. For the body. Stop a bit shorter than where you would of your traditional one because there's going to be a modeler head to go on there too. So body hackle is going to be a black hackle. And I said, if you wanted to have a bit of extra to it, you could use a Ballandary black or something like that. So, one that's over dyed blue. Tie that in by its butt. Put on two or three wraps there as a collar before you start to go backwards. And then when you get to the tail, hold the hackle up, bring your rib from beneath it, and then wiggle that rib up to stop it trapping down fibers as you go. Snap off the hackle. So your traditional kit now would have had a red game or a brown sort of henny type tackle. But as this is the variant, uh, we're going to put on a golden olive or Irish golden olive uh, partridge feather. This is a grey partridge feather dyed west of Ireland golden olive. I'll tie that in by its tip. Hold it back and a couple of turns over it to hold it in place. And then as I wrap it, I'm going to wrap it between my finger and thumb so as it slides through, it kind of doubles the fibres as it goes. Stroke them back as you go. 
couple of wraps forward, pull the stock back, tie over it. And that's now our fly ready to take the uh, golden olive head. So we're going to use a bit of deer hair here that has been dyed in this Irish sort of golden olive theme. And as you know from my other videos, I kind of like using the uh, tips of the of the deer hair as a fake hackle. So we'll take our bunch, pull out those longest bits and then realign it. And then we set that on. Hold it position, two loose wraps around. Cut that off. And then whip finish in front of that. Trim it off and then I want to get a bit of runny super glue in there. Stick that on a needle, go to each side of the eye and then it'll run and that allows me just to push that back. And that is our Kate variant in the west of Ireland, golden olive. If you don't want as much of the golden olive tips, as it, then just take your scissors and trim back into it a bit more, then you'll get a bigger head and less tips. But that's our Kate variant in the west of Ireland, golden olive.